Hey, in this video we're going to look at how you can use your calculator to write a number in terms of its prime factors. So um, if you're not aware of what that means, let me just show you briefly how I would do this without a calculator. And I do this by trying to draw a factor tree for a number. So I've got the number 12 here and I'm going to draw a factor tree for it. So I first need to think of two factors uh, that uh, 12 has. And it can't be, you can't use the number 1, okay, because that's not a prime number and it won't help my factor tree. So um, 12, uh, I can split that up by doing uh, 2 multiplied by 6. Okay, uh, there are other ways I could do it. There are other trees, but this is just one option that we could we could, we could could go for. And now 2 is a prime number, so I'm going to circle that and I'm going to stop there. Okay, but 6 isn't. I can actually think of some factors for 6. So I could have um, 2 and 3. And now, because all of my branches have come to an end, this um, factor tree is complete. And you'll see there, I've got a 2, a 2, and a 3. And no matter what tree I drew, I'd always end up with a 2, a 2, and a 3. Okay? That means I can actually um, write 12 as a product of those numbers, those prime factors. So I could do 2 times 2 times 3, and that will give me 12. Okay? Or I could also write that as 2 squared times 3. Uh, I could have drawn a different factor tree, couldn't I? I could have done one which was um, 3 times 4. And 4 could be split up into a 2 times 2. And you'll see we've still got the same numbers, haven't we? We've got a 2, a 2, and a 3. And so we're still going to have 2 squared times 3 as our uh, product of our prime factors for that number. And that's all right if you've got a small number like 12. But what if I've got a bigger number like this? Uh, 4,272, it's not immediately obvious how that might split up. I know I can, you know, 2 is going to be a factor, isn't it? But, you know, 2 times what, and then, you know, what? how am I going to split that number up? Okay, so um, we can do this in our calculator. So what I want you to do is um, turn on your calculator, and we're going to type in this number. So 4,000, so 4, 2, 7, and then 2 and then press equals and it'll just say 4272 and then what you're going to do is you're going to, you're going to press the shift button and then you're going to press this button here with where it says fact above it so shift and then fact and then that writes it as a product of its prime factors so it says here that 4272 can be written as 2 to the power of 4 multiplied by 3 multiplied by 89. So 89 is a prime number. I might have struggled to have found that one. If I, if, I, if I kept on dividing it by 2 and I ended up with 3 times 89, that would be oops, 267. I might be unsure if, if that was a prime number or not. Okay, um, But it's not. I could have divided it again. So this is um, my product of my prime factors for the number 4,272. Now, if I do this and I just end up with the number that I had, then that means that you had a prime number. So, for example, um, let's try this with the number 4,273. So, I'm going to type it into my calculator 4,273 equals press the equals button, then you can press shift and then the button with fact above it. And that gives me, it just gives me, it takes me back to exactly where I started. It says that this, as a product of its prime factors, is just the same. So that means that that number is a prime number. And you can try this on a few other prime numbers if you want. If you type in the number um, 29, say, and then you do the same thing again, shift, and then fact, it says 29, okay? Uh, maybe you had a number and you're not sure about it. Let's think about, say, 117, for example. 117 sounds like it might be a prime number. But if I type it in my calculator, I press equals, and then I press shift and then fact, it tells me what it is as a product of its prime factors. It's actually, 3 squared multiplied by 13. And so 117 isn't a prime number, 
but I don't have to guess anymore because I can I can use my calculator and my calculator will tell me if I've got a prime number. Okay, and that's how you do it.